Qualcomm and MediaTek are two of the biggest players when it comes to smartphone chipsets and soon both of these companies will launch their flagship SoCs for the next year. In case of Qualcomm, that chipset is the Snapdragon 898, whereas in case of MediaTek, that is the Dimensity 2000. Now we have got some specifications of these two chipsets from a very trusted source on the Chinese social media platform Weibo. These specifications suggest that unlike the previous flagship SoCs from MediaTek, this time the Dimensity 2000 will be going head to head with the Snapdragon 898 because the configurations are so similar. Speaking of the manufacturing process first, both of these SoCs will be built on the 4 nanometer manufacturing process. But the difference is that while the Snapdragon 898 is going to be built on Samsung's 4 nanometer process, the Dimensity 2000 will use the TSMC's 4 nanometer knot. Now, from the past few years, we have seen that SoCs that are using the TSMC's process are more power efficient than those built on the Samsung's process. So, it won't be a surprise if the Dimensity 2000 turns out to be more power efficient than the Snapdragon 898. In fact, there are some reports claiming that the Dimensity 2000 is up to 20% more power efficient than the Snapdragon 898. So that is quite interesting. Now speaking of the performance, these two chipsets are again quite similar. Both of these have one main Cortex-X2 based core which is clogged at 3 GHz. Just for reference, the Cortex-X2 is up to 16% better in performance when compared to Cortex-X1 and even that is when it is built on the same node and having the same frequency. Now here both of these SoCs are built on a 4 nanometer node instead of 5 nanometer which means the performance boost over the Cortex-X1 is even higher than 16%. Speaking of the other cores, both of these SoCs have three large cores, but while they are clocked at 2.5 GHz in case of Snapdragon 898, the clock speed is 2.85 GHz in case of the Dimensity 2000. And finally, there are four efficiency based CPU cores for both the SoCs and they are clocked at 1.8 GHz. So in short, the CPU configuration is mostly the same except for the fact that the Dimensity 2000 has three large cores with a higher clock speed. And finally, speaking of the GPUs, Snapdragon 898 has the Adreno 730, whereas Dimensity 2000 has the Mali G710 MC10 GPU. We don't know the specifications of these GPUs, so nothing can be said at the moment which one is better. So in short, at least on paper, the Dimensity 2000 SoC seems to have a better performing CPU than the Snapdragon 898 since its large cores are clogged at a higher speed and the rest of the cores are basically having the same speeds. As I mentioned before, one thing that makes the TSMC's process better than Samsung's is power efficiency. So this means even if the Dimensity 2000 CPU is supposed to take more power due to a higher clock speed, the more efficient node should make up for that. Anyways, all of these speculations are based on just the on paper specifications so we cannot say if the same will be the case in real world. So that's it for this video and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.